Okay, in this video I'm going to be unboxing the Zalman Z11 Plus. So I've already um, cut all the tape just to make this a little bit easier. So let's get going. Okay, sorry about that. I have just unboxed this and it turns out that I cannot stop recording after about 30 seconds. So I'll just, I'll just put the packaging back on and I'll go from here again. Uh, so it's boxed with this hard foam, um, which is nice and thick, so it provides plenty of protection on the case. And so we've got this bag. Uh, it did have plastic all over all the shiny bits, um, but I've already taken that off because I've already unboxed it. Uh, so, start from the front. We've got our two USB 2, our headphone, microphone, two USB 3, hard drive activity and reset buttons. We've got our power button at the front here, as well as a little tray for putting your, I don't know, your phone or whatever, it fits on there. Then we've got four five and a quarter inch bays and one three and a half inch bay, I think. As well as a 120mm LED fan at the bottom, which comes with the case and two 80mm exhaust fans on the side for the drawing area of the hard drives. We also have these fins at the top, which are slightly see-through, to let the lights from the fans come through. And um, there's comes with one 120mm blue LED fan installed here, but there's room for two. There's also room for a 120mm fan on the bottom, but that doesn't come uh, installed, but it does have a dust filter. So let's take off these. Actually, no, let's look at that first. So we've got 120mm fan here, which I'll be replacing with my um, radiator, two water cooling grommets, uh, seven PCI slots, power supply, and IO shield. Um, so let's take these off. I've already taken off the thumb screws. Uh, you can see we've got our Molex connector there for the side fans. We've also got a side window on that um, side, which is 3D uh, to allow for larger. CPU coolers, but I'm using a water cooling block, so that doesn't really apply to me. It's also tinted, uh, so you can't quite see uh, all the mess inside. You can just see the lights and stuff like that, which is cool. So inside we've got all our front connectors, as well as two USB 3 pass-throughs, which I won't be using because my motherboard only has two USB 3, and I'd rather have them at the back than at the front. Uh, so that'll just be sitting on the back. Uh, we've got our five and a quarter inch bays uh, with an adapter in here for the three and a half inch one. Then we have one, two, three, four, four, six hard drive bays uh, which use these rubber grommets um, to prevent vibration and noise. We've got our motherboard standoffs which are thumb screws which is quite cool. Um, this is a IO shield, not an IO shield, what's it called? PCI bracket with two holes for your USB pass through if you're using that. And then just a solid PCIe bracket. Um, it also comes with some, what are they called? Zip ties um, and lots of screws for cable management and of course the instruction manual. And also an 8 pin extender, which is nice. So, in here we've got um, a dust filter on the bottom 120mm fan, dust filter on the power supply, dust filter on the front 120mm fan, so those are all the intakes, and then on the um, exhausts, so at the back, and actually, now it's going to be an intake, but that doesn't matter. And on the exhaust at the top, um, they don't have uh, dust filters, so the rear is Molex, 
top is three pin, the front is a three pin. So those, connect, those will connect into your motherboard and that will connect into the power supply. Um, this is a nifty little feature if we just spin it around. You can actually mount your SSD on the back here um, rather than having it take up a whole um, hard drive slot, um, which I will be doing because I just have an SSD. I haven't got my two terabyte drive yet. Um, which will go in there eventually, but for the time being, I'll just be using my SSD here and my DVD drive up here. Um, it's got a nice big um, CPU bracket opening, which is good, and then lots of holes for cable management. Although it would be nice to see some rubber grommets on these so that you can't see through and see all the cables at the back. Um, I think that just about covers it. Yeah, so thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment and subscribe. Thanks.